Yo, what's up? I'm MC Jin, and we are here at South by Southwest live in Austin. How you doing? You might not recognize me, but guess what? That don't even surprise me. Lately, I've been through so much, but as you can see, I ain't lose my touch. It's been really exciting. I mean, it's been great because I've been dying to see the werewolf uh, violin player. And I mean, I happened to run into him on my first day, so that was awesome. Uh, I found out probably only a few weeks ago that I would be able to come. And more importantly, that I was invited to perform at one of the showcases, uh, Kingdom Experience, the, the one it's called. And I got to, I mean, the best way to describe it, encourage, humble, and I was, I've been excited. So I think the excitement level has rose to an all-time high now that I'm actually here. And uh, just walking up and down this block, just seeing the, um, the interaction between the music lovers, the artists, the, you know, just people in general, I think it's great. One thing I did kind of didn't think too much about, which I'm seeing here is the diversity is great. Definitely a diverse craft. So the Man with the Iron Fist was a great project to be a part of. I mean, um, I just looked at it as a great experience to learn be on the set, you know, around some great actors, great talent, great directors. And um, I've been in Hong Kong, actually, for the last couple years. So when I filmed that, I was still residing in Hong Kong. Uh, but this year, 2013 specifically, is very much a transition year. Uh, mainly, it's, it's more personal uh, related. Me and my wife, we just had a little baby boy. So uh, praise God for that blessing. And um, because of that, I moved back to the States. So I'm, I'm based in New York now. So New York is home base. And uh, along with that, just focusing on what I'm going to be doing this year, and it's definitely music related. So being here at South by Southwest is very just uh, invigorating, even for that. Uh, working on an album that I want to release later in the year called Hypocrite. Don't worry about me, I'm, I'm cool. All I need is me and my, my crew. Feeling like, feeling like I'm brand new. It's in, I would say, 60% completion. And um, in the 60%, I would be able to say that it's an album of mine like none of mine in the past. So what I mean by that is, um, <coughs> sorry, in terms of sonically, definitely content-wise, and just the heart behind it, uh, incomparable to any of my previous stuff. Uh, and the other thing is, I will dare to say it's probably my most mature album. Uh, grant, you know, given that, <coughs> I'm sorry, it's the popcorn. It's so delicious, I couldn't help it. No, don't cut this, leave it in there too. South by Southwest is about keeping it real and raw. Um, it is my most mature album, I think, given that just got married, fatherhood, and I would think uh, undeniable element in terms of where I drew inspiration for this project, my faith. You know, uh, these last two years have been an incredible journey in, in, in terms of just growing with God, uh, walking with Christ. And when I say walking with Christ, I take it more than just as a figure of speech. You know, like I'm talking about literally even as I walk down this street, you know, I literally feel like I'm walking with Christ in many ways, meaning like absorbing everything, trying to look at it from not just my own perspective, <coughs> but from, um, from that perspective. Like, where do I fit into all this? What am I doing here? Am I here really just to rock the crowd and have a good time and eat popcorn? Or, or you know, am I given a great opportunity to, to witness? To, uh, to minister, you know, and not because of me or, or my, you know, my, my, my uh, righteousness, but because of just what God's doing in me and in my life. So, yeah, I mean, I know it seems so far off from South by Southwest, but it totally is related and uh, it's just been great. So that all will be kind of what the album is about. Just uh, uh, an assessment of where I'm at. And hopefully I really just, I guess I can summarize it with this. The reason I went with the title called Hypocrite and the whole concept of it is, um, it's definitely been the most convicting album for me to write. Challenging like never before. So I hope that listeners can kind of get that. And if they experience that too when they're listening to it, that would be great, you know, like a great thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I need you to stop what you're doing So we can come together like a family reunion Let the music take control, I see your hands are grooving Gravitate into my soul, I feel the spirit moving Well right now, um, you know, super honored and humbled to be a part of the showcase The Kingdom Experience Showcase And um, the stuff that I'll be performing is relatively uh, more of the newer stuff from the last year or two. I released a free album that I put online. You can actually download it at, uh, it's pretty long. I'll say it three times. CrazyLoveRidiculousFaith.com CrazyLoveRidiculousFaith.com Only because it's so long. CrazyLoveRidiculousFaith.com And uh, it's free and I think for anyone that's genuinely interested, like what is he, what is he doing? What does his music sound like? 
that would be the perfect place to start that album. I think the intro would be a good start. The intro is a song called Crazy Enough. It's called God Future. Now, does it have anything to do with Odd Future? Uh, not specifically, but it, believe it or not, even in an indirect way, uh, it is inspired as far as wordplay wise. Uh, you know, I think in the last couple years, Odd Future as a group, I've never met them, you know, like Tyler. I, know, I never met them and I can't really say anything about them on a personal level, but definitely um, aware of their music and their movement. And um, the whole reason I'm bringing them up is because the name itself inspired the title for this intro. And, um, you know, just for me to think about having an odd future. Like, you know, what does it mean for my future to be odd? So there's two lines in that rhyme that goes, um, I'm praying for you if your future is odd, cause all I see in my future is God. So that's the actual two lines from the rhyme. And like I said, it doesn't have anything specifically to do with them as a group, but I do want to just point out that it was totally inspired by the name of their group, Odd Future. And this is an intro on, a, on an album called God Future. Yo, what's up? This is MC Jin, and you are now watching Blastro.